so welcome to this extra video. Our camera is shaking. Stop moving. Get off the table. Everybody get in. Squish in. <laughs> yeah. This is not a very good setup for this video, but today we wanted to shoot something super fun and stressful at the same time. Basically, today we are going to be doing... unpopular opinion video guys do not film a video at 11 27 on a dark and dreary day i uh, know the lighting is terrible today but i um but i really wanted to get this video up and out while i was thinking about it i saw somebody else do it jesse marie who is my daughter-in-law she posted an unpopular opinion video on her channel which is also called um jesse marie and it is her journey to being a mom. So if you guys want to check out her channel, go ahead. But anyway, this is it. This is our unpopular opinion. And who knows <coughs> that horse lovers, equestrians have more unpopular opinions than anybody else. Because I think horse lovers have the most opinions out there. But anyway, let's get on with our very first ever controversial video. Controversial video. Controversial video. <laughs> video say it five times fast i feel like a lot of you guys think that we just make decisions willy-nilly off the top of our head without thinking them through and without having any kind of basis um behind it or any thought process so this video i thought would be really good to show you guys that we actually do think about things that we do and make decisions based on what's best for us and our animals and uh yeah so let's get started so the first unpopular opinion is that join up is not abuse. I know a lot of people think that join up is abuse. It's not. It's what horses do in the wild. Yeah, so it is a Basically. natural thing, I feel, in the wild. We watched our horse try and join up with our other horse yesterday when we uh, introduced them to each other. And even though there are stressful aspects of it, I feel like it's very similar to like when I go to the dentist. It is so stressful and abusive, but necessary to keep my teeth the way they need to be. How do you feel about join up? Do you feel it's abusive? No. No. So, I mean, it could be abusive if it was done incorrectly, but I think that it was part of, I think that it is a part of natural horsemanship. It mimics what the horses do um, in the wild. And I think... It tells you that you're the boss. And I think um, that done correctly is not abuse. And I know that a lot of people are not going to agree with me and that's okay. This is just my unpopular opinion. Do you agree with me or do you have a different popular opinion? Unpopular opinion. I agree. Do you agree? I agree. Most people think that all horses eat grass, but I do not believe that. I personally believe that um, putting a horse out in a pasture 24 hours a day, seven days a week, year after year after year is not good practice and i'm going to tell you why i have an unpopular opinion and think that grass consumption should be controlled to an extent so uh, people say that horses eat grass in the wild and that is so true but from everything that i've read and that i believe um, horses travel in the wild they go from place to place to place um, grazing 16 17 18 hours a day to get enough um, grass in their belly for food and the reason is that, that rarely in the wild are horses placed in a big huge lush green paddock that they travel we have to go out and like shop when we're all set and horses don't they yeah. just have to well they do though in the wild they travel long distances they i don't eat. care about it for horses it's normal that they're fat yeah well in the wild i don't think horses are really very fat i see a lot of horses in the wild that are not super fat i see a lot of horses sitting out in the field 24 7 that are super fat for most horses most of the time being on a grass field is not going to be problematic but there are a lot of horses that don't do well in a lush field just like there are some of you guys that can eat mcdonald's every day all the time I and can. not have a problem yeah i can't there are horses that have special conditions that should not be on grass all the time like stella stella has a foundering history she has metabolic issues that make it so that she needs to have her sugars controlled otherwise she will die she will get really unhealthy and not be 
good. So some horses can be on grass all the time, but other horses can't be on grass all the time. And that's okay. It's just being knowledgeable and knowing who needs to be where and at what time and, and know their limits. So yeah, unpopular opinion. Number two, all grasses, all horses just need to eat grass. All horses should have grass? I yeah. wish. No. Do you think all horses should have grass all the time? No. Um, when horses toss their head, it means that they're in pain. And I get this a lot. Storm. Okay. So Storm, after he was warmed up, I was trying to make him frame. And he was like, no, I don't want to frame. And he was all sassy and tossing his head. But that's because he wasn't in pain he was just being sassy yeah. and goofing around so in our experience we have had two horses that have been head tossers finn that sophie recently got he did not want anything to do with the bit he didn't he sat in the field for eight months he did not want anything to do with being ridden he was like i'm fine just walking around looking handsome but uh we had other plans for him and he threw little tiny fits all the time and sophie was riding him he's like no no, no, I don't want to do it. And um, how did we get him to stop that, Sophie? I had to tell him to stop. Yeah, Sophie finally said like, enough is enough. You're making me uncomfortable here because I keep on getting thrown forward. Stop shaking your head. And when she told him about five times, he's like, oh man, okay, fine. I'll just do what you want then. And then we also had Storm who throws his head every time he doesn't want to do something. Horses do toss their head when they're in pain. They do switch their tail when they're in pain, but it is not always the case, right? We all agreed that is our unpopular opinion. You might have a completely different experience where your horse did uh shake his head in pain shake his head in pain and that's okay but with our horses we've always ruled out issues before um and we've ruled out issues and we know that they're just showing us attitude horses don't need shoes horses don't need shoes we get a lot of emails every single day Farm could not be ridden if he has no shoes yeah so it's unfortunate and i know that there are a lot of i know a lot of people are going to argue about this but it is unfortunate but some sh horses just have bad genetics like storm has horrible hair and horrible feet it's in him we give him supplements to try and combat that we do everything that we can we've taken off his shoes and tried to let him build up some yeah, um, that was a horrible decision. That was a horrible decision. He wears decision. down like yeah, the he, inside of his foot. So he's like running like that. Yeah, it was really bad. So anyways, um, it's true. Horses are better without shoes. If in a perfect world, like no, Texas. no horses would ever have shoes. And I know that some people put shoes on their horses um, just for, uh, for things other than health reasons. But for us, any of our horses that have shoes and we have two of them they have them because our vets have recommended them and because our farriers have recommended them um i wish our horses could be barefoot all of them and two of them are but two of them need shoes need corrective shoeing and that's not going to go away anytime soon so our unpopular opinion is horses do need shoes sometimes horses need shoes yeah You shouldn't buy a horse unless you've been riding for seven years or are an experienced rider. People told us that you should not buy a horse until you've been riding for seven years, that you have to get out of the pony stage before you can buy a horse. Like there were all these rules about buying a horse. Technically, when we got Sabrina, I've been riding for like seven years. Yeah, and, and, and that is a good example of that it shouldn't matter about how long you are riding because riding, how many years you've been riding does not determine skill level, that's for sure. I know, but if you're like, have been riding for a month, it would be not as common to get a horse because your parents don't know if it's just going to be like, I don't like horses anymore. Yeah, the pony stage. But here's the thing, for us, what I believe is that if you're going to get a horse, it should be based on what you feel comfortable with and how much support you have and how much knowledge you have. If you don't have enough knowledge, then you should have extra support like we did. I definitely think that no matter how much experience you have, no matter how much skill you have, getting a horse is a big, huge deal. I 
still second guess myself sometimes like if we are ready because getting a horse is so 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 hard i don't think it has anything to do with how long you've been riding i think it has to do with with so many more things i think you're never ready to own a horse because it is so overwhelmingly the most crazy experience on earth but i'm just really grateful that we actually did take the plunge and bought our horses we could never have done it without our trainers without their help and without their experience and without their support. You are humanizing your horses too much. Do you think we're humanizing our horses too much? Do you think we humanize our horse? Give them human emotions? No. You don't think we yes. do that? Well, we a do. Little, a we bit. do. I think we do it to the biggest extreme ever. And uh, But here's what I think about that. My unpopular opinion is that horses have feelings. Dogs have feelings, cats have feelings, birds have feelings, all animals have feelings. I have witnessed it. I have watched so many animals give birth and race to rescue their babies. I have, and maybe that's just instinct. I have seen my dogs look over and look at their babies with such love and devotion in their eyes. I have seen, I have had dogs scream in agony when their puppy has passed away. I, I've seen animals be separated from the horses that they love and scream and even have physical consequences from being separated. And there's no doubt in my mind that animals have human emotions. They do. And they might not think as abstractly as we do, but they have emotions. And I think that actually humanizing our animals and their emotions and treating them like they have emotions is a step in the right direction. I think if all people recognized that animals have emotions and treated them in a humanely way, the world would be a whole different place. So unpopular as it may seem, I think that humanizing our animals is the only way to be because they all have feelings. What do you think about that? I already said they do. Do you think we should treat our animals like they have feelings? Yes. I've seen horses not want to go outside in the rain because they have a comfy, cozy, warm spot to stay. And I've seen other horses stuck out in the rain, pouring rain, blanket or no blanket, with their ears flat and their head hung down and they just look so dejected and so sad. And yeah, I think horses should be humanized. Okay, I'm popular as it may be, that's what I feel. All right, last one, I think. Is this our last one? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, horses will work it out, just leave them alone, let them deal with it. And our unpopular, my unpopular opinion with that is that not all horses love each other, not all horses work it out. Sometimes really bad things happen when you just throw a bunch of horses together, just like when you throw a bunch of people together, sometimes horrible things happen. My unpopular opinion is that it is way better to manage your herd and I'm so happy to finally have a farm where we can manage our herd and it is a lot more work than just throwing the horses out there, ignoring them and letting them work it out. So yeah, my unpopular opinion is that we should take the time to manage our herds, um, put horses together that want to be together, separate horses that don't do well in a herd and figure out what's best for a happy, oh, healthy like Storm. family of horses. Yeah, like that's and Storm that's, was alone for and like that's a long time. And that's my unpopular opinion, and it's not going to change. Even though we've been getting a lot of hate lately about how we should just be throwing them out there, but that's not what I believe. And I'm happy that we're in a position that we can manage our herd and do what's best for all of them. All right. Last one. No horses need blankets. What do you feel about that? My horse one? does. My horse barely even grows a winter coat. Yeah. You could still see your hand. It grows like half an inch longer than his summer coat. Yeah, and, and most people will argue that that's because he's been wearing blankets, and that is true. If you put a blanket on your horse, then it takes a while to get them back to a stage where they don't have to be blanketed. But the same with 
uh, what I was saying about feet. Some horses genetically don't grow a really thick coat, and it's the same with people. Some people same have really, short. yeah. She has like no hair, and so does Gabby have no hair. Her hair is so My thin. Hair is so she would thin. freeze to death if she was a horse. And sometimes old and sick horses need to be blanketed. And but generally, I do believe that if you don't have to blanket a horse, don't do it. But here's the thing that is plays the most part in my decision about blanketing horses. If horses in Canada, in Ontario, where it gets really, really cold, Ooh, horses so cool. have a big huge shelter that they can get in out of the wind and the rain then yeah of course I don't think you, you need to blanket your horses where we live people blanket their horses because they want to baby them and make them princesses and um, treat them with extra care and whoever has the best blanket wins that's that's what it's like here um, I honestly do not believe that horses need blanket as long as they have a really good shelter and a way to protect themselves like Plus, they would in the wild. Plus, blankets are expensive just for one yeah. winter. You have to like buy new ones literally every single winter. Yeah, so we blanketed Finn recently who is not used to being blanketed, but um, he has been living with a really nice shelter for the last two months. and. Um, he was forced into a field with no shelter recently so that he can stay with our other horse while we were integrating our, our herd and um, it was a pouring down rain all day and freezing. and freezing cold and he is not used to that and I made the decision to put a blanket on him for a few hours two times actually and I unpopular opinion as it may seem I want my horse to be comfortable so that is it, you guys. These are my unpopular opinions. These are what I base all my decisions on. Um, I do think there is an element of truth in most of the things that other people believe. Um, but I think that you need to make. I think you need to make decisions based on you, what you believe, your own herd, and what is best for them. And I think that we should all live and let live, unless someone is seriously hurting their animal we need to respect their right to do what's best for them that is it and uh, i hope you guys like this video and i want to know down below what is an opinion that what is one of your unpopular opinions what do you do with your horses that most people don't thanks for watching bye, bye. and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below